Hello, it's Indira from Indie Arts Creations. Thanks for joining me. So today I'm going to do the third painting in the Marble Inspired series. And I'm hoping I have enough paint to get through. So I'm going to um, do a ring pour for this one. And um, I'm going to layer the cup. So again, we have silver, pink, green, blue, metallic, blue. I said green, blue. I'm sorry. I meant to say green, black. Um, and I'm going to use black. And I'm not going to do a whole negative space, but I'm going to put some black on the canvas like in a circle. So I'm going to start with silver and I'm just going to layer the cup. So I think it's worth mentioning that the pink and the silver are, well, the silver isn't really metallic, but um, the pink is metallic. So we have two metallics and silver, depending on the brand that you buy in things, is sometimes listed as metallic. So I haven't really figured out like, because it looks metallic. So I haven't really figured out um, what a regular silver looks like because I haven't had one. Like again, this one was listed kind of like in the metallic section. So, if you remember, I'm sorry, I forgot to bring the pictures over. If you remember, we had the open cup pour first. And then I did the blowout and we're using exactly all the same colors as the marble that um, I got from my friend Ramel. Excuse me, I'm sorry, I hesitated a little bit. I almost kind of forgot the order I was going in. So that's what the hesitation was about. Uh, sometimes it's hard to keep this stuff up, especially when I'm pouring and I'm putting the cups in different places. I have to kind of remember. I'm actually going to layer it until... I don't have any more pink and silver. Those are the colors that um, I had the least of. I have tons of blue, I have tons of green, black. I'm just gonna put a little black in. Um, I did order some more paint. I see that it hasn't shipped yet. And I have other paints. I just don't have all of these colors anymore. I think I ran out of, well, I ran out of silver. Um, I think that was Liquitex. And I actually do have some Arteza, but I wanted to kind of use Arteza. Yikes, I put that in the wrong order. I kind of wanted to use the Arteza when like, I want to use all of the same paint. Not that I don't mix, but with Arteza, when I opened it, I just wanted to kind of use those together. But I did have this idea, had I had enough silver, to do like a silver um, but. I am going to do it at some point, but I mean, we're not going to do it for this. I'm, I'm hoping that um, this ring pour will be nice. The hope is, is that it will um, have all of the colors represented really well. That's my goal. Uh, I think the open cup pour look like a pretty good representation of the colors um, being represented. And then, of course, the blowout did. Um, let's see. I think with the blowout, 
I purposely didn't add a lot of black and there was black in the marble. I just, um, I just didn't want it to be overtaken. So I didn't add a lot of black. Um, it came out nice. So now we'll see with this. Just a little bit so I can get one more layer. Hmm. Here goes there because we are running out. I didn't realize there was that much silver because I probably could have did two more layers. But it's okay. With our last bit of all the colors. I um no. I don't even have to guess or wonder or be nervous or anything. I definitely know that we have enough paint in this cup to cover our canvas. So I'm not sure if I said the canvas size. So, the, oh goodness, sorry guys. Uh, the canvas is um, a 12 by 12. So in this series, we have two 12 by 12s and one um, 12 by 24. Look, this is nice. I hope you can see it. This layered up really well. Took a lot of patience. So again, I'm going to start with a black center. Silver center, but I don't have enough. So, and then we are, oh, I see some air bubbles. a lot because we do have a lot of paint and then if I need more um, to stretch it or anything I can just put some down so remember our um, the, the, the key to getting a good ring in my opinion is to go slow to get that ring formation like a thicker layer of paint. The way that this uh, layered up in the cup, how the layer is applying onto the canvas. For something different. A little design moving this circle around some or I should say the ring around some so we'll see how this all plays out again the goal in this is to really hopefully have all of these colors be represented when we're done So let me think, do I think we need any black around? Let's start tilting first. And then if I need some black to help us along, I will get it. So the other part of the ring is to tilt slowly so that you can maintain the ring. You know, sometimes this stuff looks easy, um, but it's not always easy. It's not always as easy as sometimes it can look in a video. All of these techniques take time and patience and effort.
So it's going to start to run off and we have enough. So what we were wondering or what I was wondering is to make sure that we had enough paint, right? This really looks nice and it's going to um, look even nicer. <laughs> Sometimes words sound funny. You're like, is that a word? Um, this is going to pop even more <laughs> when it's varnished. So we haven't really talked about much about varnishing, but all of the paintings will get varnished. So I'm just going to start to let it um, go off of the edges some. I'm going to stop for one sec. And I am going to put this is like a clunk. I don't know what that is. I am going to put some black on the corners, try to help us along a little bit. I really like the center. I can actually see that there's a lot of paint right there that, that probably wouldn't have needed much help. But it's good to help it along. So now we will finish. Oh. Um, let's see. I'll let it run off of this side first. My right is your left. Run off. Up here because there's a lot of black in that corner. Okay, so I'm just gonna kinda like tilt it. Run off. Okay, we have it off on that corner. I need to bring it a little further. any of the other videos I did one um, and I was talking about this ring pour there is a way that you can perfect it and so, so the goal now is to um, paint in this corner Around perfectly so you can see what I'm gonna do now we have all the corners done right but I don't want to get anything on the canvas so this part right here was kind of like this part in here was like our center so what I'm going to try to do is bring it back to center as much as I can before that was um there are some ring pours that you can get to look like a flower. And so I am going to be working towards that goal. Um, back. It's not all the way back, but it, it's a good deal back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it down. I'm going to um, touch up the sides and everything. Um, pop some air bubbles that I see. And then I'll bring you in for a close up. For the close up. So I think that the colors are all represented. We don't have much black. Um, but other than that, the other colors are well represented. Uh, this is definitely a softer tone than the others. I've used the same colors, same pouring medium, same everything, just different techniques. But I think that it may dry 
and then the colors will come out more but right now they're just a little lighter than what um, they are but again it's just a technique as well so I'm gonna come out and try to show you the whole piece so as I zoom back in I just want to say thank you everyone for supporting my channel please like share subscribe if you haven't for those who have i really appreciate all the support and until we meet again cheers to painting